the complicated one. Now, um, you know, when possible, we try to uh, make parts interchangeable, and when we have doubles of parts, they're identical. Um, quite often, uh, like you know, some of these identical parts, totally reversible, left side, right side, either way, doesn't matter. Um, this part is the same as this part, but you notice this has the holes to receive this part, although it does not receive that part. And on the plus, um, while it may create some confusion, we've chosen to ship parts with these holes in them, and there's no need for them on the plus. Um, you have to mount this board on four risers right in the center. You can see here my example. Um, it's, it's there on standoffs, but uh, it's going to stand off in the center. And if I were to install this part, uh, let's see, where would it go? Here, of course, it would be this part, the wide um, 12, mm, 12 millimeter width or, uh, you know, circle for the 12 millimeter bars. But um, on this side, the, you know, it's, it'd be a really long piece to try to reach out and hold the board. That was just an opportunity we took to reduce the part count, so. <coughs> Pardon me. Anyway, so uh, these fitted onto the plus. These are common parts. On the plus, you don't need the center screws. I mean, the center uh, slots. All right, so again, um, I've seen people put these together where they put everything on the base first because it's really fun to, to fit these into the base and so people get ahead of themselves and they put those in and they bolt them all down and then they realize wait a minute I can't get that in when I've bolted these other ones down so you want to first uh, put them in one of the sides the front or the back and then we could uh, put a screw in these and hold them in place you could uh, go ahead and get all of our you know, you could tape in your nuts on all of these because these are really hard to get to from the inside. Uh, but next thing is we're actually going to, see it's going to go like that, so I'm going to flip that. It's going to go in here. Sometimes you'll have to, oh, look at what I did. Look at what I did. I already made a mistake, which is great counting on myself to make mistakes. Check out what I did. I got careless on this part and he is pointing forward that way but this arrow is pointing forward this way. I just tried to put it together. It don't work. So let's correct that mistake. Wish I could tell you that was all planned but that's totally unplanned. But not a big deal. Flip it around. Now I got all my arrows facing front. okay, And I needed that clearance um, over here to fit this part together. It's going to face front. It's going to go like this. Arrow, arrow. This is the front. One more time on the dry fit. Now we're talking. Okay. So again, commence the bolting of the bolts, taking note that you do not need a washer on the ones that have a simple hole. You do need a washer on the ones that have the full slot, okay? Now this is my favorite piece to put on here, and again, it's only going to go on one way. Notice my arrows pointing forward, arrows pointing forward. You're going to hear that a lot. So now what I like to do is start on one end and just get the tips of one end done and then I work my way down pressing okay so now we got our base dry fit and when I did my first LC um, I, I was so anxious to get it printing and test it I put like one bolt in the top here one bolt there as few bolts as I could to like hurry up. All right, 
but uh, you're going to want to take time to put those those bolts in. This is just a dry fit, um, so I'll explain what these parts are. These are the rod um, end plates, and um, sometimes I leave these off. Uh, in this case, here my second mistake. Um, these actually need to go on there like that, and it's a little offset. And the reason is we moved those holes. They used to go on like that and cover the hole, um, but Randy had a good idea. Let's uh, line that up. So now I'm going to go through two plates here before I get to my nut, so I will not be able to use a uh, half-inch bolt. I'm going to need a three-quarter inch bolt. So there's a few places where that's the case. This is one of them. So because I put these on prematurely, I'm showing you my little example to get the uh, plates on there. Let's switch out to this. Now the reason that we offset that is we wanted to see exactly how far that three quarter inch works really well. It's just perfect. So these are six millimeter. Um, this wood is five ply, six millimeter birch. Now, uh, you know what I just noticed too? Look. I'm putting washers in where I don't need them. It's not going to hurt anything, but it's going to waste some washers. You'll probably end up with a few washers at the end of the build, um, you know, that you didn't have to have on there. Um, what is this, the third or fourth time I put this together? <laughs> oh, that particular bolt. Okay, so this is the correct way to mount an in uh, plate there. Now, since I didn't put my um, screws in this one, oh, they're taped in there. Aren't I lucky? It's almost like I meant to do that, even though it's the first time I've used tape. <laughs> Just saying. So you're good to go there. Put these on. I'll I'm leaving a lot of these bolts out because it's just boring to watch somebody turn a screwdriver for an hour. All right. So there you go. That is um, it. And then uh, these are a little tricky. Uh, what we've got here, this board, it's kind of a weird thing with it. You've got three holes here that a 632 bolt fits through. And there's enough clearance where you don't have to worry about hurting the electronics. You'll be fine. Those fit on all three of those. This bolt does not fit through that hole. It just doesn't go. Why is that smaller? I've heard people say, well, they meant to do that. It's, you know, so it orients properly on the machine and you don't put the CPU in upside down. I don't really know the answer. So we've included this... Uh, I can't even tell you how long that is, right off the top of my head, but this long, um, it's a M3, this is a metric hex head, uh, that's either, it's got to be 18 or 20 millimeters, I guess you'd be interested to know that, I uh, don't have a caliper, oh, wait a minute. oh there it is, okay, let's figure out how long this is and I'll tell you. These are handy. These are uh, I'll eventually sell these in the store, but great to measure. Man, there's all these little gnats running around. That is indeed a 20 millimeter M3. So uh, since I I'm using uh, I'm, the LC here as an example instead of the plus, I've got one M3 